Well, let's continue on with our study of the pitch pine tree. It's a very common tree in the Appalachian Mountains and Cumberland Plateau and the coastal areas of New England and the Appalachian foothills of New England on the east side of the Green and White and Berkshire Mountains. And where I'm at today is called Candlewood Hill. This is in New London County, Connecticut. It is in public ownership with no official trails or official parking areas, but it is open to the public. Uh, all trails has some information on how to get in here, and there's a lot of trails to follow. So um, here's our pitch pine or candlewood. Candlewood is the name that the pioneers gave this plant because it is full of resin or turpentine that can be used or excuse me, the wood is so full of that if you light a knot of this um, candle wood or pitch pine on fire, it will actually stay lit and burn like a torch or a candle. So here's a seedling of the candle wood or pitch pine. It's on a very rocky open ledge here. This part of New England is full of ledge like this and candle wood or pitch pine is not uncommon. But this is one of the largest native groves in this area. There's Hundreds and hundreds of trees back here. They're all contorted and twisted. They don't really grow straight when they're in a stressful environment like this. They tend to be all twisted and contorted, almost like a bonsai tree. But the fact we have some seedlings coming up there is good news because it would be a shame to see this population um, be shaded out by other species of trees. The good news is, is this area is very thin soil, so it dries out quickly. It's prone to brush fires, and the brush fires are what open up these cones and allow them to sprout into seedlings like we see right here. So these plants and the table mountain pines are adapted to a fire ecology. I've done a little bit of work on the cones and needles, but let's just take a closer look. We've got the cones right on the tree here. And they're about not even as big as, probably about as big as my, my small finger, my index finger, or excuse me, my pinky finger. So maybe three inches long, two inches wide. They do have some little barbs on the end, but nowhere near as nasty or clawed as those of the table mountain pine. These are little, little, little needle pricks on the end, but that table mountain pine, it had claws like a cat. So that's how you can tell the cones apart. These are a little bit more round, not quite as triangular at the end. And our needles come in threes. I think you can see that pretty clearly right here. I'll get a couple of them right here. And there's our needles in threes. And about as long as my hand. So four to six inches long. I have some trees that were in a real stressful environment up on Lantern Hill. I did that video a couple days ago where the needles are actually quite a bit shorter than that. So there's a lot of variability in the needles. Um, those trees were under a lot of stress up there. There really wasn't much soil for them to work with. This area has some soil, but it's pretty thin and not a lot of mineral soil here. This is mostly just decayed leaves. And when those decayed leaves dry out, that's what burns along with the uh, wood material itself. So just beautiful, contorted like bonsai, almost like trees here. They're really interesting. No two are the same. The bark, as I mentioned a few days ago with that table mountain pine comparison, is in blocks and chunks with cracks in between. That tree I did a few days ago in Pennsylvania had much bigger blocks, but it did have blocks. And this is almost peeling off in layers. Almost looks like cardboard the way it's peeling off. And I'll keep comparing the pitch pine with other trees that shares habitat with when I find them. I haven't done anything on Virginia pine yet. I could probably find both of those growing in the same park um, in the future. And I will do more comparison. Because this is a very common tree you will find on a lot of hikes. Because places with views often have thin soil where pitch pine can uh, survive and other plants can't. So often the uh, more scenic hikes have this tree. So here's our pitch pine in a rocky, thin-soiled habitat in New London County, Connecticut.